Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this one we're going to help you, um, we're going to teach you how to install and run multiple builds on a PC. Um, it's called putting Kodi into portable mode. So you can see up here, I've got a few different uh, versions of Kodi. If you go into them, they're all different. So let's quickly show you what I mean. So here we got a, a clean version of Kodi 16.1. In here we'll have a, an actual build um, with using Kodi 16.1. So you can see it's so two different versions of uh, 16.1 running side by side there. So we'll just exit out of there. So we're going to show you how you can do that and you can have as many as many um, different versions as you want. So you can have um, as many versions of it as you want. As you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five and then there's some more that aren't on the desktop as well straight away. So um, we're going to do this with Kodi 17. So first of all you need to go ahead and download Kodi 17. Um, so wherever you choose to have it is up to you. So we'll go ahead and run the install wizard. Go ahead and hit next, and then agree. Let me just hit next on this screen. Then here, um, it will default to putting it into it's usually users, um, app data, roaming, and Kodi. You want to put it in a different folder, wherever you can call it whatever you want, but you don't want to put it in the um, original Kodi folder. So let's make a new one here. So we'll call this one Kodi 17 video. So that's where I want to install Kodi. So I'm going to hit next on these. And then we'll just let it extract. Okay, so it's important now that we do not run Kodi. So I must make that clear, do not run Kodi. Okay, so we've installed Kodi. Um, once again, make sure we don't run it, even by accident. And let's go ahead and open File Manager to have a look at it. Let me just find it. So this is where we put it, Kodi 17 video. Well, we create a subfolder as well. So here we are, all your usual files and folders that you'd expect. Um, so no, this is the one we're interested in now, the Kodi.exe. So normally, um, well, when you click on that, that will launch Kodi 17. We're not going to do that. And um, what we're going to do is just click somewhere on the desktop, and then we're going to right click, and we're going to select New, and I'm going to choose a New Shortcut, and then in here. We're going to type in the path to get to this file here. So you could browse, I'm going to be a bit lazy, copy and paste. Don't we'll browse that, that far. And we'll select Kodi.exe and hit OK. Now we need to change this line here. We need to change it ever so slightly. So what we need to do at the end, we need to put a space to put a dash and we need to put the letter P and that will put it in portable mode. Just give it a name, anything you want, so we call ours Kodi Video and hit finish. So here we go, here's Kodi Video um, just appeared on the desktop now. So now if I were to run this version of Kodi what you'll see along here is you'll see a new file uh, a new folder pop up, so let's just keep an eye out. We should see a portable folder. 
you have to be quick it was there um, I will show you we'll go back to there so you'll see here at the bottom there we've now got this portable data folder so that shows us that it's worked okay so once you've got uh, your portable installed um, if you double click in here you will see a whole new set of folders for your add-ons for your media for your system user data and so on um, so if you um, upload your builds to the web for other people to use these are the folders that you're going to be using um, to do that when you would zip them together uh, not these ones in the main folder so it's really important to remember you go into portable data and these are the ones that we would use obviously they're empty at the moment because we haven't uh, put anything in them um, once again with that um, you could create a little you could uh, create a shortcut to them uh, on the desktop to make it easy you see here that the um, files I have here correspond to the build above just so it makes it easy when you are working with stuff so you just create a normal desktop uh, shortcut for that um, I'm sure you all know how to do that anyway but just so you can see so it's nice and tidy so you can just move it beneath it just keeps everything nice and organized and as you can see, we've got a completely clean version of Cody 17. Now, you can repeat that as many, many times as you want. Um, if, you, you know, if you've got the memory on your computer, you could have 100 Cody builds. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, if you have any questions as ever, please put them in the comments or contact us um, through the website. Um, if you like what you've seen today, please give us a thumbs up or perhaps subscribe. Uh, thank you very much. Take care.